But what if we told you people in North Texas have more than a billion dollars just waiting to be claimed? I'd raise my eyebrows at that one, but that unclaimed property is more than just money. Investigative reporter Charlotte Huffman went inside the Texas vault of forgotten treasures. We've got a wide assortment over the years in unclaimed property. Inside this vault, we have a 100 troy ounce gold bar are treasures from across Texas. That is a canary yellow diamond ring. Pricey jewelry, diamonds, Rolexes, valuable relics too. Everything from a very, very old math book to the interesting stuff. A lock of John Lennon's hair right there. All of it sits inside a vault owned by the state of Texas, waiting for its rightful owners to claim it. It's called unclaimed property. You've probably heard of it. Back in the day, the state used to run ads in the back of the newspapers. Let's say a relative suddenly dies, leaving family members unaware they have a safety deposit box at the bank. After a few years, the bank ships the contents of the safety deposit box here to the state's unclaimed property division in Austin, where the goods are unpackaged, inventoried, and get this, if no one claims it, the state actually auctions it off here on eBay. It's not just valuables. There's cold, hard cash, too. $5.4 billion, to be exact. More than $1 billion of it belongs to North Texans. And here's the kicker. Many of you have no idea. It just floored us because People don't even think about looking. I didn't think about looking. The money comes from things like abandoned savings accounts, overpayments on utility and medical bills, and refunds or rebates owed to customers. Basically, any kind of payment that is owed to you that you don't take any action on, after a certain period of time, that can become unclaimed, and companies are required to report those to the controller's office as unclaimed property. Then it's transferred to the state's general revenue fund. It's up to Texans to go onto the state's website, search their names to see if they have any, and then file a claim to get it back. I think the most valuable individual claim we paid was over $12 million to a single person. But the majority of the money goes unclaimed. Why? Well, because the state says it's not their job to find the 14 million people with unclaimed property. So we went to work. We got all the files from the state dating back to the 1980s. Then we built our own searchable database. You have reached a number that has been disconnected. We spent two months tracking people down. Take Helen McMillan, for example. This was just Helen. That's how she always looked. Helen's name was attached to one of the largest amounts of money. We went to her apartment, but learned she died a few years ago, and she didn't have any children. But we did find a report from the medical examiner's office. It lists a woman named Nancy as next of kin. At this house in Mansfield is where we found Nancy. <laughs> that smile, it just was Helen. She had no idea how much money her cousin left behind for the family until we showed up. Here is Helen McMillan. There's two listings here for Helen. One of them is half a million dollars, $472,000. So it's a uh, total shock after all this time because we thought everything was taken care of. And it was kind of a good shock. Then there's artist writer. I felt like it was a blessing who doesn't need some money. Writer's sister-in-law died suddenly a few years ago. We tracked Ryder down to tell her that the state has $8,714 in a death benefit waiting for Ryder's family to claim it. Actually, wait a second. She was a teacher at DISD, right? Right. There's another $2,000 from wages. So, oh, and look, $286 in a utility deposit left over. Wow. So actually, we're talking about more like $11,000. That's good to know. <laughs> Both families can now file claims to get their money back from the state. 
The largest pile of money we found is $2.6 million. This Arlington man left it behind for his family. There's 111,000 for the city of Dallas and 12,000 for Hall of Famer Pudge Rodriguez. Rodriguez has another one. Not that he needs it. In all, the people we talked to say they only wished they'd known about this money years ago. It was a total shock. We wasn't that hard to find. You all found us. And we cannot thank Channel 8 en enough. I do pray that you all find all those people on, you know, that list. Well, we'll keep at it. Until then, don't think the state is going to come knocking on your door. All those billions of dollars are going to remain in the state's bank account. And all that bling here behind closed doors. Well, so far, our investigative team has tracked down more than a dozen people, and we've connected them with almost $600,000. Okay, so you're probably wondering, have I got any money? You can go to WFAA.com slash unclaimed property right now to find out. Now, here's the caveat. We're told the process to claim it can be a bit of a pain. That's why we've got a step-by-step -step video to help walk you through the process. And if you find some money, hey, we want to hear about it. Email us at unclaimedproperty at WFAA.com. All right, so you guys are probably mu oh. wondering if you've got any money. I'm going to go check with yeah. JC. Can we get on the computers and go check? You, you don't have to. I've done it for you. Chris. No. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, Chris, wow. I'm sorry, though. I've got nothing for you. OK. <laughs> Pete? Pete, let's see. We've got about $100 from your days in Kentucky. Oh, my Whoa. God. Really? No kidding. And oh your mom, God. too, in Illinois. My mom? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome. Lunch is on you, buddy. Well, how about that? <laughs> Izzy, I didn't find you anything, but I did find your sister <laughs> 80 bucks. My sister? Yeah. Oh, Whoa. that is awesome. Yeah, we can all talk about um, oh, my commission rates that? after. <laughs> yeah, after no, show. Kidding. no kidding. <laughs> Thank you huh. very much. This is a I mean, very nice surprise. It just shows. I mean, you, you look at your sister, and when Pete's <laughs> it's like my, over my here. old bank, it's my old fifth, yes. third bank. You probably haven't looked at that thing in. in a decade? Oh, I, I, well, I've been here 14 years, so it's probably, you know, 15 or more. Wow. Okay, Just so amazing. once you file your claim, uh -huh. how long before you see the cash? Well, the state comptroller's office says it takes about 37 days on average. Okay. But that's going to depend. Like, if it's an airship claim, then it's going to take a little bit longer than if you were, say, the actual owner. Okay. Great work, Charlotte. Amazing. Thanks. Good for my, you. My mom's a, at Sherwin-Williams in <laughs> <Yeah>. Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> Buying a bunch of pants oh. samples? I don't uh, know. Apparently, yeah. Uh, Everybody's <laughs> a winner except for me. <laughs>